In 2010, independent filmmaker Adolf Alex submitted a film called Chassis to the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board. The story is about a prostitute, played by soap opera star Jody Santamaria, who lives with her child in the ports under the chassis of an abandoned truck. I guess the point of the story yeah, is, is there's also a redeeming factor to it because no matter what the choices are of the nanay, at the end of it, she will do what's best for her child. The film was screened to a three-person MTRCB review panel carried over from the Arroyo administration. Chassis was rated X. There was one particular scene where Jody Santa Maria, the lead woman character of the story, cut the penis of the guy that she had an encounter with. And so the board was suggesting that even for an R18, they don't feel that there's merit to have to show the particular action. Uh, what happened was during one of those times na wala siya dun sa area, yung kid niya naglalaro lang in the pier tapos nasagasaan yung bata. As an act of revenge, she tried to prostitute herself again tapos merong isang guy dun na he may or he may not be the guy na nakabangga sa anak niya. Kinastrate niya yung, yung guy. Alex asked for a second review. The five-person panel was also an Arroyo carryover. Except for one person, all four of them voted to X the movie. Indie movies kasi tend to be presenting a new concept. It's not usually the vulgarity, but the realization of what's happening. Parang, may ganun. Sometimes it takes a while for us to accept a new idea, even if it has merit. So sometimes with the board reviewing it, you can't also fault them uh, to be shocked and awed by a particular scene. In fact, if I ask them to review Chassis now, it would come out approved, I think. According to MTRCB rules, if rejected a second time, a filmmaker has the option of submitting his film to the Office of the President for a third review. We have an opportunity to watch the film and review it from the perspective of experts from the industry also. So we have members representing the film and the television. The committee also includes film director Mel Chonglo, entertainment journalist Joan Maglipon, and National Youth Commission representative Earl Saavedra. Although their powers are recommendatory, they can reverse MTRCB decisions with the backing of the president himself. This is not a first for Adolf Alex. His 2009 film Aurora was also thrice X-rated. Matakot ako kasi ngayon yung president nung una ko, yung Aurora, now still remains to be double X eh. So, pero sabi ko nga, uh, wala naman tayong choice eh. You just have to, to try and try because nandiyan yung system eh. So, nag-submit kami for, for review. I waited for a year. The appeals board voted to rate chassis R18 instead of X. Uh, it is a very heavy film for me. And true to form, like most of the independent films, it talks about poverty, abuse. Uh, I didn't feel uh, anything na malaswa when the penis was shown. Uh, it was, I think, part of the whole thing. Uh, and it was needed. In spite of the glowing recommendations from his own review committee, President Aquino banned the film from public screening. In a January 18 letter, the President's Executive Secretary Paquito Ochoa said, the depiction of graphic masturbation and the exhibition of male genitalia are clearly concrete grounds for disapproval of the film for public viewing. Yes, initially I was surprised because uh, I was expecting a more liberal approach. It's the president that signs it, but I'm sure that there are unofficial um, advisors also, because of course the president seeks advice from everyone, taking into account also what the appeals committee um, decided upon. As a body, uh, we, we stand by our position, but at the end of the day, uh, we went through the process, so we have to respect the position of the executive branch. This is not the first time that the president has used his office to intervene in issues of free expression. In August 2011, the president called the Cultural Center of the Philippines and conveyed his disapproval of an exhibit called Politeismo by mixed-media artist Medeo Cruz. The display also involved an erect penis, this time a wooden representation placed on the same wall as Jesus Christ. The CCP closed down the gallery the day after the president's phone call. I just wanted to say na parang, I hope he, he sees the film again and maintindihan niya yung sinasabi ng pelikula. When you watch the film, nandun naman yun. Alex has the option for a second review from the office of the president. Because the appeals committee already supports his film, what he needs is for the president to change his mind. If not, he will be one of the first independent filmmakers to take his film to the Court of Appeals and possibly to the Supreme Court.
If he does, it means the president will have to fight for his right to castrate. Patricia Evangelista, Rappler, Manila.